the stock markets have fallen by about 550 points in the last five six trading days in fact the nifty 50 seems to be on a risk off mode following the coronavirus epidemic that has struck china particularly as well as it is spreading across the globe there are about 80000 cases of coronavirus as of now so what is likely to be the ramifications of the coronavirus on the indian markets hello and welcome to the mint mark to market show I am Clifford Alvarez and I will take you through what's happening around the coronavirus. Now India is not a major trading partner of China as such. We import about 15% of our goods from China while we export about 5% of goods from China. So India is in that sense relatively insulated from the vagaries of economic trade. In fact there are three areas where the Chinese economy has a major impact on the global economy. First is of course profitability of companies. Second is the supply chain linkages as various Chinese companies supply commodities and other finished products to other companies across the world. And third is travel and tourism which could take a major impact. On the profitability side we have seen some impact on the metal sector. In fact the prices of uh, most metals on the London Metal Exchange have fallen by about 5 to 10 percent even 12 percent. Iron ore prices have also come off, hot rolled prices have also fallen by about 12% since the beginning of this year. Pharmaceutical companies could also get impacted as India imports a lot of its raw materials, particularly APIs from China. A prolonged shutdown of manufacturing in China will also impact uh, sectors like the automobile sector where India imports a major chunk of its uh, key components as well as spare parts. Besides, uh, India also imports a lot of white goods from uh, China and so some of the white good companies could also be impacted. So as China is one of the major players in the global economy, in fact it constitutes about 15% of the global economy, the ramifications on the stock markets across the world is going to be high. It all depends on how soon the coronavirus uh, situation or epidemic will begin to ease in China. If manufacturing in China resumes quickly, we could see a rebound, but analysts are saying that the rebound is not going to be V-shaped like it was back in uh, when the SARS epidemic had hit. Uh, so it's going to be like a more gradual and slow recovery for the global economy as well as for the Indian economy. On the other hand, analysts are saying that they do not see any major triggers for the Indian economy in the near term for a quick recovery. Besides. Uh, they expect a modest recovery because the base effect will start to play off only in the second half of FY21. In fact, the drivers of GDP, that is private consumption, is very weak at the moment. You can see that from auto sales, which is sort of tapered off. Besides, the government has also very little room to spend due to the high fiscal deficit. So that is why there might not be much room for corporate profit growth in FY20. In fact, analysts are penciling about 10% earnings growth in FY20. However, due to the base effect and also the ex expected pickup in the economy in FY21, corporate profits could grow by about 15 to 20 percent. Some analysts have even penciled about 26 percent earnings growth for FY21. Even then, the markets are still quite expensive taking into consideration the forward earnings. At uh, 11,600 levels, the markets uh, are discounting the future earnings by about 17 times, 17 to 18 times, which is not quite cheap and which is not also quite rich. If we take FY21 earnings to come, it, come in at about 18% growth over FY20. Also, it remains to be seen how long the risk of mode continues in the global markets. However, one good thing is that the domestic market is seeing inflows from domestic investors, uh, which is a good sign. It could keep uh, prices from coming off sharply. So till there is a risk of mode in the global markets, we could see some pressure in the markets. However, the downside may not be too much given uh, domestic support. That's all from me for now. Thank you for watching.